This video is all about using Pipeflow Expert software to calculate the outlet pressure in a natural gas pipeline with Panhandle A equation. This is a problem. Using Panhandle A equation, calculate the outlet pressure in a natural gas pipeline. Now, the nominal size of the pipeline is 16 inches with 0 0.250 inch wall thickness 15 miles long the gas flow the gas flow rate is 100 million standard cubic feet per day at an inlet pressure of 1000 psi a the gas gravity is 0 0.6 and vis viscosity is equal to 0 0.0008 pounds per feet seconds. The average gas temperature is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Assume, assume base pressure to be equal to 14.73 psi A and base temperature equal to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. For compressibility factor Z, use the CNGN method. Assume pipe, pipeline efficiency of 0.92. So now let's work it out using, well, we are going to solve this problem using Pi flow expert. So now let's go to the software. So this is Pi flow expert. So what I will do now in this case is I will now draw a line. But if I draw a line, I need to, this is a gas, this is a natural gas. But now we the fluid we are we are on water. So but we need to change the fluid, the properties of the fluid to natural gas. So we can do that by prep by clicking on this button. And as you click on this button, there's a drop down list. So now you now can select change fluid. Or you can also do same on this fluid tab you click on it then click on this change fluid so i click on this so now what, we're, what i'm going to do now is i will change this to this liquid i will select this gas gases so i haven't selected that now you can use this to calculate the gas data by inputting this is Fahrenheit. methane that is natural gas so changing this to 80 so because the average temperature of the gas is 80 fahrenheit then you have it is at pressure zero that, that is where you calculate the, the density of the this so now when if i click enter it will calculate the density but this density does not have it it doesn't has a um, it does not include there is no room for specific gravity here so now so this is just it so now you can use this yeah, but there's a, a, another option let's go down to this is methane now selecting methane we look at methane that is of zero point okay look at natural gas there's natural gas here this is natural gas of 0.60 a specific gravity 0.60 so now we'll just select this now we have now when you look at this you have the natural gas 0.6 because the specific gravity they gave us here is 0.6 as a gas gravity the gas gravity is 0.6 now but Okay, we are not working with the, the now this this is in this unit is not in the normal unit. So now we are in metering while the, the problem is in imperial. So I need to click on this. If I click on unit tab, I click on imperial. I click yes. But I also need to go to this specific unit to make some changes. Now, the gas flow, not on this flow rate, the gas flow. 
that is where you make the change. The gas flow, they have given us that the gas should be on uh, a million standard feet per day. So we look at this, which, which is this. So we select that. Now, they said they, assuming the base temperature and the base pressure, is at 60, deg 60 degrees Fahrenheit and 14.73 PSIG, respectively. So, but there is no way I can make changes on this. So, but I will not choose the one that is close to it, which is this. So, this one, the value is close to what they gave. So, I will select this. Now, I will also copy this. Then now, I need my answer, my result to be in absolute. So now, and this, i supposed to change the pressure input into absolute, but because they gave us it, they gave us the parameters in absolute. So, but the, here, there is only gauge pressure that is here. So, I will convert, I will convert the absolute pressure, the inlet pressure they gave us as absolute to gauge so for me to do that for me to do that what i would do is just say 1000 minus 14.696 so that that is what what it will give us i'll say 1000 minus 14.69 Six nine. Okay, no, no, no. Minus fourteen point six nine six. So that is it. So that this is what we're going to use now. This is what we are going to use. So now we have made all the necessary changes so now but here now in calculation they said you know the method of solution so now this is compressible fluid so it is a no it is not a non-compressible fluid if it is liquid like water you can say it is non-compressible so now this is a compressible fluid so now we we'll come here we we'll select select compressible gas flow now, under the compressible gas flow, we now need to change the method. The method they said we should use, you say you should use Panda A equation. So, Panda A equation is here. So, we select Panda A equation. Now, they said the efficiency of the pipeline should be 0 0.92. 0 0.92, that is the efficiency of the pipeline now it is not an ideal gas they say we should use cn cnga compressibility factor so it will be calculated by this method now we have done all we needed to do in this section so now we we'll just click the ok button so it's done now i will now have to draw a line from this point, I'll right click. Now, at this inlet, we need to add a tank. Now, the pressure of that tank, the surface pressure of the tank will be 1000 psi absolute or 985. 0.3041 PSIG that is gauge pressure. Now, having done that, I will now draw a line from this tank, a straight line to an arbitrary point. Now, they said we should define, we should now define the default pipe value. So now, I will now say yes, I want to define it, make changes. So now, we will now go to this material. The material we should choose. Now, 
we make okay schedule 10 schedule 10 has wall thickness of 0 0.25 so we'll look, now the pipe the size of pipe the nominal size of pipe the, 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 the for this job is 16 inches pipe and wall thickness of 0 0.2 250 um, so which is this so we'll just select it click save now the length of pipe they said is 15 miles and you know one mile one mile is equal to 5280 feet so this will give us 15 times 5280 will give us 79200 feet now we are done with this so now we'll just click okay so that is it um okay they didn't give us um they also they gave us viscosity of this fluid so wait i didn't even include it so that i needed to make a change let's see uh the fluid did not change okay Let's go back to. We now need to select gas. So this is the gas. So now, so this one is natural gas of specific gravity zero point sixteen. So this is what we select. Now we needed. Let's say I need another new. I need to create a new data. So now what I'll do, I haven't selected this. I will transfer it down. That is what I want to use. Now, they said the temperature, the average temperature of the gas is at 80 Fahrenheit. Then, the, the viscosity, the viscosity of the, um, the viscosity of the natural gas is 0 0.011905. Now, we also needed to calculate the density of the gas. So, we'll come here where you have this button, where you have specific gravity. Click it. Now, we needed to... The specific gravity here is 0. 65 okay the, the gas temperature is at 18. now just click this so we have calculated the density of the gas so now we'll just say save so it has made the change here so now we'll now having done that i will just add this to the fluid data so i will just click add so and which is this so now we have gotten this so now what we're going to do is is highlighted so now i will just click this transfer selected fluid so because this one is the select the highlighted one is the selected one so i'll click this transfer selected fluid click it now it will replace this i will not say save so it's saved here now at this outlet I, there should be a demand outflow there. So I will select this demand outflow. Now, the flow rate, they say the flow rate should be, the gas flow rate should be 100. Should be 100. 100 million standard feet, cubic feet per day. So which I'll just say, okay. So that is it. So now, all information has been represented in this drawing in this um, design in this um, model so what i will now do is to click the calculate button so let me just click this calculate button to calculate it the gas system okay let me see okay 
let's view results. Now, the athlete pressure is 967.14. So that is the answer. So this is the athlete pressure in PSIG, PSIA. So the exit pressure is the athlete pressure, which is 967.14, which is this. So this is the final answer. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this video, please hit the subscribe, the subscribe button and also hit the, the notification icon. And also do well to share the video. Thank you. Have a nice day.